Hey Taurus, welcome to your love, relationship and career reading for September. Um, if you're new, welcome. Please remember to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you get all the different types of readings I do each month. Um, we're going to have like an overview at the beginning of the month here. Um, let's start with your career and of course I'll leave information regarding what decks of cards I use in the description box along with how to contact me for personal readings. So let's start with your career here during September. We have the seven of winter and the nine of springs. Um, seven of swords in the normal deck and nine of one so you might feel a little bit blocked i feel here um there's a better choice not seeing everything clearly running away from the truth here protect the fruits of your labor prepare for possible challenges that lie ahead okay um so here it's saying maybe you thought that things was going to go a lot better than they actually are going right now and the idea is to not overspend so you might want to spend money doing up the house and making it all cozy because it is september right and it's our favorite time of year where we get to sit in and you know be around the fire and you know those cozy warm nights um so maybe you want to overspend on making the house beautiful making your home beautiful maybe you want to overspend here on your children um as we have the children card come out here but it's saying just wait right now okay um wait for the sales because with jupiter um the sales will come so wait for the sales there's better options coming for you than overspending what you have right now don't earn it and then spend it and earn so that you're always chasing yourself it's saying just you know allow yourself the truth ground yourself um in the beginning of september so virgo season right um, and just allow, um, you know, patience, I guess, prepare for possible challenges. It doesn't necessarily mean there will be challenges, but prepare for challenges. Um, here we have card 32, sea storm. So it says calm amid the chaos. So remain calm. Things might look crazy and, you know, all sorts of things going on in the world right now. But remaining calm is your best bet. Not, I guess, panic buying. I guess it's coming to like the wintery seasons and people might start panic buying again. And it's telling you, look, remain calm. Don't overspend. It's not really going to help you out here to overspend. Um, you can end up maybe short with money. You might be expecting some money and it doesn't come in and, you know, creating more problems for yourself there. Um, here, when I moved on to the tarot deck, for you guys i had the seven of cups the four of cups the devil card page of swords and king of swords here so moving on to love and i guess just life in general right um the seven of cups the four of cups the devil page of swords and the king of swords i kind of i'm feeling like you're disappointed that somebody hasn't come forward yet or something here. You might be spying on them. Could be an earth sign, water sign or air sign here. All the signs will generally come out. But yeah, I can't help but feel disappointment that, you know, your dreams, the signs with the seven of cups here might have all been pointing you in one direction, telling you this person, look, they're coming, um, but they're not here yet. And you can't see them in your physical world. So it's kind of making you fall back on to a negative way of thinking with the devil. It happens to us all, right? Um, but this four of cups, like, you need to change how you're looking at things. Um, because here she's, you know, she's laid down looking at the world upside down. And she's like, well, there ain't a love offer here. Um, understand things take time. Let's say somebody you're waiting on is trying to mature spiritually here because we go from the page of swords to the king of swords so they might be going through an awakening or trying to mature in the way they communicate even um i feel like don't let that devil energy 
get the best of you at this time because some people do have um it's called sad seasonal affected disorder or something so some people don't enjoy the darker months um you know because the bright light makes us you know want to get up on a morning feel good and things like that so if you're already feeling maybe cheated out of something you might start to feel a little bit down and disappointed discontentment with life with the four of cups there but it's saying look this is the devil energy in fact the angel answer card here that i pulled for you guys was remain positive so don't let this get the better of you here i think like you're expecting something and it doesn't work out so you end up disappointing <laughs> you know when we have expectations that's when we end up disappointed right um yeah because then i had i was expecting taurus to have such a better reading being an earth sign but really it's like it's like some sort of fake promises that are happening here we have the three of swords page of pentacles ten of cups and the seven of swords so you feel somewhat lighter and you don't really have anybody you can depend on but yourself here and i think it's sort of like reliving heartache um and maybe the fact that this page of pentacles somebody has blocked you rather than answering you and giving you these answers that you seek somebody is not coming forward with those answers not easing your emotional burden i feel here so again with that devil card um i want to be able to get you guys on the right track so i'm always honest with you guys i can't help it <laughs> um it might be that you're dependent on somebody else thinking that they're going to bring you happiness so it could be codependency there and that's why um this hasn't come in yet but let's have a look at these romantic angel cards here it says children may be affecting your romantic life um Somebody may be offering passion, but not the love that you crave right now. You know, I feel like you just want to be home and making it beautiful and decorating and buying new furniture and hanging pictures on the wall, making everything really homely. Uh, maybe for your children or maybe you want children here. And it's saying it's coming. OK, very soon, in fact, but clearly decide what it is you want. Is it, do you want, you know, that these people or this person to feel something you feel is lacking within yourself? Because it really isn't lacking within you, right? All this love that you desire and crave with the devil there. I feel like if you just learn here to, you know, um, love yourself, we see a lot of focus on family and home and um you know family relations here maybe even being hurt and by family relations the page of wands now and the queen of wands and the world seems like as we move to the end of september you'll start to feel better okay so you'll start to feel inspired again and motivated again and you know so if you if, if in the beginning you feel quite challenged emotionally um that things haven't gone the way you wanted them to go so you're pretty down and bored even with the four of cups right that can be boredom so just remember that that i guess good things come to those who wait because it's saying it's coming for you just remain positive and remain calm when everybody else is going crazy you're like nope I know my good stuff's coming. Here it is towards the end of the month. Something being initiated, people taking action towards you. You now feeling better within yourself. Venus coming to shine her light on you, making love transitions a lot easier. Um, I feel like you'll ascend and learn a lot during this time if you choose to remain calm. Don't be spying with that Page of Swords energy. Um, you might be spying because maybe they've blocked you with this page of pentacles. So the only thing left you can do is sort of spy. I guess let's use Facebook as an example from a different Facebook. If they've blocked you, you can go on and spy from there. Just don't do it. It's making you feel um, more 
self-conscious, okay? So take action in waiting for the sales, getting yourself some new clothes for the sales. <laughs> um, if you're decorating the home, you know, wait for the sales. Like I said, Jupiter will come in and you'll have a lot of benefit from that. So here regarding friends and family situations, we have the Ten of Pentacles reversed, Eight of Pentacles, Ace of Swords, and um, this is the Three of Pentacles. So in regards to family, I think these people might have been trying to take advantage of you and you're hoping that you have an opportunity to talk with them and work it out. I feel like it's one-sided. So of course it could be um, you, Taurus, who doesn't want to give them the opportunity to work things out because they've shown you that they're not supporting you here. They've shown you time and time again. So you, I feel like a conversation is coming and you should speak up Um you know, clarify a few things for people like, I don't feel supported by you or, you know, you help my sister, but you don't help me or, you know, things like that. Um, if it's your parents, right? Or, you know, maybe saying to your children, because we have children up here being a factor. Um, look, I can't keep helping you when you don't want to help yourself. Um, maybe you have to get a job yourself and things like that. Because we have the Eight of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles reversed. You might be removing your financial support from family members and things like that with the Three of Pentacles um, reversed and the Ten of Pentacles reversed there. It may be even that you lose your job and you start asking people, hey, can I get some help? And people show their true colours and this is why you have to plan and save, right? And not overspend. Four of Swords, um, Five of Pentacles, Four of Wands, and the Chariot reversed along with the Page of Cups reversed. So you might have been expecting people to be able to come forward and help you because you've always done that for other people. And when you're in need, what happens? True colours come out. And nobody seems to be coming forward to help you in this moment. And they don't even seem sorry about it. Um, so, I mean, that's a bit harsh. Again, the four of wands. So it might be even like you're trying to move home and you expected people to help you because you helped them move home and it doesn't happen or something like that. They leave you out in the cold with the five of pentacles there. It's four of swords. That's no movement towards you at all. That's kind of painful. Kind of mean, right? I've had it happen to me though, so I know what doesn't kill you makes you stronger, right? You now get to see, okay, I see that in my time of need, these people didn't actually help me. So I'll maybe work on this myself and be unapologetic the next time they ask me for help and let go. Maybe what's playing out here that you are relaying this in a conversation over here that you remember when I needed your help? Um, I don't think that's a good reason to not help somebody, but I think it's being aware and putting healthy boundaries in place for yourself is very much important. Um, don't leave yourself confused and waiting for the rest of your life when people show you who they are, believe them. If they show you in your time of need, I'm not going to be there. And then you wait for them to turn good. It's sort of like wasting time. And time is the most precious thing here. You're trying to seek more information to educate yourself more. But um, I feel like you should just go on. What's meant for you will not pass you by. So don't worry about that. Okay, guys? Good luck.